YouTubers, it's Melissa again, the M of the M of Bespoke Hairstyles, here to talk with you about um, sister locks. This is a quick question and answer session, and I quickly wanted to talk about why sometimes um, you look at people's hair who have sister locks, and you feel like it's not full enough, or it looks like there's hair loss um, um, evidence of traction alopecia on their hair, or there's not a fullness to it. Um, from time to time, I get messages as well from um, everyone, ac people across the waters, YouTubers across the waters, great, asking about why their hair is thinning. Okay, it's hard for me, without touching your hair, um, to tell you exactly why. So this is me making a general kind of assumption. And what I'm hoping is, from that information, you will recognize you in it. And you will think, oh, yeah, maybe that's why I'm suffering from hair loss. And there could be so many reasons, internal and external. So let's talk about um, the fact that how is your sister loss installed? Now, if your sister loss is installed too frequently, um, and what I mean about that is some people, their hair doesn't need to be retightened. Um, as quickly, like necessarily every six weeks, once your hair is locked. Um, so you need to think about that. How often is is your sister locks being retightened? Also, are you retighting your sister locks? So when I used to retighten my sister locks for a year, I felt like, great, I'm in control and I'm, I'm going to do this. And actually, what I found was I began to slowly shift into a bad mood every time the alarm went off and every four weeks I was tightening my hair. And I was doing it every four weeks because by the sixth week, I wanted to have finished doing my hair. This is not a good idea. You're disturbing your follicles and you're overpulling on your hair. If you are retidying your hair, try sometimes to leave it every eight, week, eight weeks. Try sometimes. Six weeks, eight weeks. Maybe you do it six weeks and then, and then the next time you do eight weeks. If you're scared about it being tangling and fusing together, why don't you oil your hair thoroughly, then wash your sister locks? And then just separate them. Because that's what you're worried about. Sit down, be patient and separate them. It's worth a sacrifice because you're not pulling on your hair too much. Um, and generally, are you eating well? Are you exercising? Are you oiling your scalp? Are you oiling your hair? I use natural oil frequently in my hair. And I also use a spritz bottle. Just like you would have extensions. Um, you can just spritz away. Let me show you my newest spritz that I absolutely love. Um, this is my newest spritz mix that I absolutely love. <sighs> I'm back. TLC's, um, this is TLC's Grapefruit Hibiscus. This is a UK um, um, retailer. And as can you see, it's got um, grapefruit, hibiscus and green tea. It's got no oils in it. So I literally, in the morning, just spritz and go. And it's just great. Love the smell. Or you can have your own mix. You know, water, a little bit of your favorite oil that, you know, works for, for you. And go. The most important thing is water. Our hair loves water. And once your hair's locked up, just enjoy spritzing your hair with water. Um, and are you massaging your hair? Are you massaging your hair? Is that why there is the lack of um, density to your hair and you're suffering hair loss? Check out my video on massaging your hair regularly. Also, have you got, have you been, have you received the right locking pattern? If your hair is, you've not got the fullness to your hair, the locking pattern should not be a locking pattern that condenses your hair and makes your hair look um, quite static. There should be a movement to your hair. Um, and sometimes it might be very difficult, but if your sister loss is looking very, very bad and really struggly, sometimes it's best to start again. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just best to start again. So these are some of the reasons why. Make sure you're exercising, make sure your, um, your diet is right and you're eating your greens and you're eating your fruits and veg. Are you massaging your head? Have you got the right locking pattern into your hair? Um, are, are you pulling too much? Because pulling is a major issue with locks and sister locks. 
If your hair is being over pulled, ease off. Don't be styling your hair in the same direction. You know, yes, I'll have my hair like this, but I've made sure that there is a looseness to it. Also, is your hair being um, tightened too tight to the scalp? Is there a little bit of space being left? With me, there's always a bit of space left um, with my hair, and I'm not tightening it that often. What I mean by that is it's like, okay, fine, it's every six weeks or eight weeks, but there's always a bit of growth left. And when I tighten it the next six weeks, there'll still be that growth um, left. Get in touch um, if you feel that um, there are other questions you need answered about sister locks. And I hope those tips help you enjoy your sister locks better. If you haven't got the answer within this posting, inbox me and let's see whether we can find a solution. Thanks for watching this posting. YouTubers, bye. Ah, well, Mono Sapen SK, original, official ringer.